afternoon or good evening good morning or wherever you are this is a very special episode because la last week i talked about so it was yesterday i talked about um getting sim card in turkey and when you get a sim card they have a temporal and another permanent one and now when you get a sim card from the airport you can see that the sim card at the airport are very expensive okay and then you might see that and this sim card some of them you can only use use them for only three months after three months you have to i don't go go and activate it again or you just have to buy a new sim card so i'm trying to say something very simple here now i experienced something yesterday when i came to istanbul when i went to the shop to buy the sim card they asked me to pay 200 239 tele for a vodafone sim card so after that they asked me to put an extra uh 49 tele which are for the package which indirectly i know that they are trying to uh fraud me or they're trying to deceive me but i don't know that i know everything because when i went there, i was speaking english instead of turkish so they asked me that when i buy the sim card which is uh, 239 and I, I have to buy the package for 49 tele and that is going to give me 20 gigabytes so when i when i realized i told them no i'm not buying again so i went to the place the vodafone office itself that is i went to the vodafone office itself and they are selling the sim card uh, to me uh, to 200 tele because I have the resident permit so they give it to me 200 tele with a package of 20 gigabytes inside and 1000 minutes to, to make a call within the internal and then you have 750 SMS it means you can send a, a, an SMS for 750 times so instead of me to buy from the roadside from those guys who just went and bought the same SIM card from the, to, uh, from the Vodafone office and they are trying to charge extra money which they are just trying to make extra cash or make extra profit I'm, I'm i'm telling i'm trying to give you the information how to get a very cheap one and which can last for you for a long period of time so if you are planning to buy a sim card of course there are sim card that you can buy for temporary reason or if you go to vodafone office they can sell the sim card for you without by using your passport but in that case instead of uh you paying 200 tele they'll ask you to pay 250 tele because you have the passport you don't have the resident permit so instead of you to buy the sim card at the roadside when you come try as much as you can to get an official or the the, 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 the office it's either vodafone truck cell or truck telecom get an office over there and they are going to give you at affordable price don't buy from the those stores outside get it from the shop the, uh, the vodafone office itself or the truck cell uh, office itself do not buy from the outside or they're going to cheat you they're going to tell them they're going to sell the sim card for you for uh, 239 tele and then you pay another extra cash for the the credit or the package which is lie because every sim card you buy is supposed to come with the package there's no sim card that comes with empty package so please if you go if you go there try as much as you can to find a vodafone office or truck seller office or truck telecom office and buy your sim card do not buy it from outside so this can save you a lot and remember that when you buy the sim card from those guys outside which is already registered can only last you for only three months after that you have to buy a new sim card so please get it from the vodafone office use a passport to register, to register with, the, with the with the sim card and everything's going to be easy affordable for you so see you next time anytime because if you use the information and you make the, the the registration if there's any problem you can also trace it and get back your sim card or the same number back but if you use someone's information if it is gone it is gone it is what it is so thank you see you next time and try to like and share with your friends and I'm here as much as I can to help you guys to get all the information you need from Turkey. And I'm currently I'm in Istanbul now making tour and watch out for more videos coming. Bye bye.